A story set in the early 1800s tells of Philip Nolan, a young officer in the United States Army who gets caught up in a plot to overthrow the government. Convicted of treason, he swears in rash anger that he wishes never again to hear the words, the United States of America. The judge decides to grant his wish, and he is sentenced to a life of exile. Those around him are ordered never to speak to him of America. He comes to be known as the man without a country. Years later, a remorseful Nolan pleads with a young sailor, remember your country and that you belong to her as you belong to your own mother. Stand by her, boy, as you would stand by your mother. Then he adds, oh, if anybody had said so to me when I was your age. Each of us has a land we call our own. It may be the place where our family has lived for generations. It may be the country of our birth that we left long ago. Or it may be an adopted nation we now consider our home. By virtue of our heritage or our loyalty, we all feel connected to a country. Love of country inspires men and women to give their very best, even their lives if necessary, to uphold its freedoms. In faraway places or just down the street, we stand tall for the worthy values and principles espoused by our nation. When fellow countrymen are in trouble, we reach out to assist them, defend their rights, and rebuild their lives. The bond of common citizenship unites us and strengthens us in spite of differences of race, religion, or politics. The commitment we swear to our country is, at its heart, a promise to help one another. We all have a country. It may not be the largest, the richest, or the most powerful, but it deserves our loyalty and our love and our best efforts to make it better. We can say with hope and faith, God bless this land.